everyone! So today's video is a recipe um, and it's a recipe that I made like a couple of years ago and it turned out to be really really good. I used to make I used to make this uh, for the 1st of May and the 25th of um, April that we that we celebrate so um, this is the recipe for the uh, Christmas tree brownies I'll show you what you need for the brownies so we have a hundred grams of uh, uh, flour 175 of butter I already cut it in two pieces so it's like easier to melt it um, 200 grams of chocolate I took Two types, one is a 90% dark chocolate, another one is 70% dark chocolate. Two eggs, um, 60 grams of nuts, but uh, I think this, this is a little bit more than 80 grams, than, than 60 grams, but um, it's up to you how you like your brownies. Then we need um, like a tip of salt and 200 grams of sugar and two um, spoons of uh, um, powder uh, cocoa without sugar, uh, sour and one, table, uh, one tablespoon of yeast. So this is what you'll need for the brownies and then we'll see what um, we'll make them and then we'll see what you'll need for the, the decoration of course. So guys, first things first, first thing first thing first, you um, cut in small pieces the chocolate that you have without eating it, of course. And then, in, in the same time, you wait for the butter to um, melt, uh, bain Marie style. So, um, so let's start. I like to take a bowl and put the pieces that I already cut um, inside the um, inside it. And after we cut these in small um, pieces, we need to add these to the to the butter that is now melting. I won't show you, but believe me, it's melting bain Marie style. Then. I will leave you the um, link of this um, recipe. Um, I will put the link for this recipe in my um, info box. Always read it. Guys, you don't know how hard this is. I'm on a diet. I'm going to a nutritionist so during the week I'm not eating any kind of any so during the week I'm not eating any kind of um, sugar uh, not sugar but you know um, any kind of chocolate and uh, it's really hard to be here cutting chocolate and uh, not eating it. It's so hard. Um, I decided to take one at 70 and one at... Uh, um, the, the recipe doesn't say anything about uh, the kind of chocolate you need to take. I mean, it just says um, dark chocolate. I took one at 90 and one at 70 because, you know... One at 90, it seemed to me a little bit too much, but the brownies are really, um, you know, full of uh, sugar. The taste is very, very sugar. Sometimes I think it's too much. So, um, I think 
that's why um, so I think that it would have been you know better to put a little bit of a, like a, um, chocolate at 70 dark chocolate at 70% I might be wrong but we will we will see I'm making a mess there you go okay these smells even better than the 70% I like sour things so I made this for my uh, friends from the gym a couple of years ago with some um, like uh, a snowman marshmallow and this truthfully that I talked about in um, a video that I I think it was the Christmas tag probably I don't already remember. The smaller you cut them, the better it is. Uh, I know this is a really like boring process, but um, the smaller you cut them, the better it is so they can melt easier with the, um, with the butter. I tried once to melt this all in the microwave, but I don't know, I much prefer um, I prefer the Bain Marie style because um, sometimes it's too, um, sometimes they get kind of burned, I don't know, but um, kind of burned. So this is the chocolate, cut it. Now I'm going to add it to the uh, butter and I'm going to add the two uh, spoons of uh, um, cocoa. Then in a, bigger, in a bigger bowl, you put the two eggs. Sorry, this is not that fancy, but that's what I have. <laughs> two eggs, and you whisk them with the 200 grams of sugar. I suggest you to add it uh, not all together, but just sip by sip. I think this is good. Now that our um, now that our um, now our uh, chocolate should be like done. Um, so it's a little it's a little uh it's a little colder now. So uh, I'll add it to the um eggs and uh, sugar mix. I'll try to do this without boiling myself or my fingers. Oh my god. You need to, ah, you need to smell this. It's a little bit too like sugary for me. I mean Melted butter is just the, I don't want to say the worst, but you know, it's really, 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 uh, it has this smell of sugar that is so, I mean, it stays in your house for, for days. So, once you put all of the, um, chocolate and butter and cocoa mixture into into this bowl you just have to mix it very gently you mix it very gently from the bottom to the top so that you don't ruin the sugar and eggs uh, mixture and you should have 
something that it <laughs> that becomes very very slowly um, darker and darker there you go you can can you see that it's becoming darker and darker now that this is all a mess because I am not like a, a perfect princess um, you take a bigger bowl, I mean I took a bigger bowl and I put uh, like the um, and I put inside it the powdery uh, ingredients so the flour uh, one teaspoon of this and a sip of salt let me just take the spoon of this, this is the yeast, you know I'll put it just in here and I mix it um, just a little bit. It's not. It's not really important that you mix it. That you mix it all together. One thing that I learned while making uh, cookies and sweets or cakes uh, or whatever biscuits, that you need to mix it all good. Like, don't get bored. You need to mix. You need to waste your time and mix it. We then we add to the um, the chocolate a mixture of um, a flour and a sip of salt and the yeast. We're just gonna let it cool down a little bit and uh, then we're gonna cut it. And in the meantime, I will. And in the meantime, I'm going to clean my kitchen because it's a, it is a mess. While the um, brownies are um, cooling down, we're gonna make the frosting so that I. so that we can. Um, so, well, we're gonna make a frosting to decorate them. So for the frosting you'll need 150 grams of icing sugar, uh, like 30 grams but just one egg white, a little bit of lemon juice, I have this so I'll use it, and some something to color, like some food coloring, I found a green one. I used to make these with the blue and yellow but I find, I today I found this green one. Today I found this green one, which looks, I don't know, it kind of looks disgusting, I don't know, but <laughs> we will see what happens. Okay, I don't want to put it all together, because I think 150 is going to be too much. So, we'll see. I'll just put the egg, the entire egg wire. And then uh, a little... A little bit of this icing sugar. I'll just take the mixer, put this in.
I thought that 150 was uh, too much. It's actually, you need a little bit more. If it doesn't look right, I don't know. And if it doesn't look right, and if it doesn't look right, I don't know what to do. Oh my god, this is really dark green. I thought... Guys. Okay. Let's just... Oh my god, this is... Well... Oh, it smells great. With the with the the lemon, um. Oh, the lemon is good. Maybe it's a little bit too much, even for some people, you know. This color, look at that. It looks like uh, I could have made some Grinch brownies. <laughs> look at the look at the color. Is it really? I think I'm gonna put a little bit of. <gasps> This is, uh, well, trees are actually not, well, trees are, um, dark green, right? So, it's not a problem if I put in too much. Make sure while you're, um, mixing that the color is even, there are no lighter or darker parts, because you know, it will look very, very bad. So, our icing is ready. I don't know. Shape, which is a, a tree shape. And we're gonna try and make the Christmas trees, you know? So, Smell is really, really, really good. Now, um, okay. Um, this came out a little bit too thick. I wanted it to be thinner, but I couldn't. So. It doesn't matter. Uh, I put the first part like here on the board and I go, ah, this is still hot. And I go down with this. This is, as I said, this is a little bit like, um, oh, I'll take one of these just to make the, um, these parts in. Cause I just need the part with the tree, you know. Okay, for now, I'll put it very gently. You have to work very gently, okay? But oh my god, this is too big. Okay, you have to work very gently.
we just needed to put this which again can be like a Grinch thing not a really <laughs> uh, a real tree but you know um, so we'll make these we'll put this um, frosting into a sack of polish uh, I have the old one you know a reusable one and it has all these um, all of these you like utensils. Uh, this is how it works. You put this thing here and then you close it with this and it's done. And it's reusable so every time you don't have to like, you know, waste plastic. Okay, then we have Smarties! Again, I cannot eat this, but I just love them. And I just want it. Oh, these are really... I thought this would have been like smaller. 